For Percy Piastawa, 20 years went by in the blink of an eye. It seems like yesterday. Four-year-old Brandon and three-year-old Carla seen here at their mother's memorial service. These photos sit on a mantle at the home built for them in 2005 by the show Extreme Makeover Home Edition. The entire house has reminders of Lori in every room. And Piastawa itself is now a household name in Arizona. It's normally like I hear from like either friends or anything like that. And they're like, oh, it's your mom's name. Oh, I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Brandon's recollection of times with his mother is sparse. A therapist once told him traumatic and especially joyful moments would be all that he recalls. One of the, like my favorite memories I have of her is basically my grandmother, once they found out she was being um, deployed, my grandmother and grandfather would take us to El Paso every other week. Lori's decision to join the military was spurred by the desire to provide for her kids. I was okay with it. My husband was not, but I never, I never knew the perils of war. But Percy and Terry Piastawa promised to look after Lori's kids. On my orders, coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance. Just four days after then-President George Bush announced the invasion of Iraq, her convoy took a wrong turn and the 23-year-old was killed in an ambush near the city of Nazaria. I remember being told that my mother was an angel and that she was always there for them and stuff like that. But like, I never really truly... We never really truly sat down and was like talked to about like actually what happened. Brandon says he never really asked questions. It wasn't until adulthood that he understood. Questions about his mother's service on his college application prompted him to finally get the answers. I googled everything, searched everything, uh, read stories, seen videos, and at that point in my life I felt like it was really dark. But luckily that was short-lived. Now graduated from college, working full-time, and powerlifting in his spare time, he has moved back into the family home with his grandmother. His grandfather passed away in 2017. You're the man of the house. <laughs> and like, going... I'm the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just... When Carla's Carla's in Carla's the bus, bus. <laughs> yeah. And Carla, a beautiful young woman and spitting image of her mom, is studying to be an esthetician. All three remain close. People would ask me, well, are you mad at somebody for Lori dying? For the, Are you mad at the colonel for losing his way? I said, no. I said, I can't. God gave me a gift for 23 years. I said, and, and I, would have never, I would have never had these two if, if he hadn't done that. Just a really nice family. There is an entire room dedicated to Lori in the home. We were able to go in, but not take any photos. Back to you.